Hello, welcome back to the Bug Out channel. Now join me today where we are on the, the wild Welsh hills in this glorious sunshine, testing out these new optics, these long range monoculars and these HD binoculars. Let's have a look at them. Binoculars and the monocular. Binoculars and the monocular. Funky are you there? Binoculars, binoculars. Fat on top of it like a right lemon. Right. Optics, binoculars or monoculars. What are they all about? Well, it's only you can use to see further, isn't it? Right, that's all it is. So I've come to the top of the hill here above Bilf Wells on this glorious summer day. Now I've got my sun hat on, my glasses, but I'm wearing a bright white t-shirt today, and that's for one good reason. Funky Prepper, it's just down in the valley there, where am I looking down there? Now he's got the same binoculars and the mockler as me. We're gonna do a bit of a, a range test, see how um how clear they look at a distance. Now we're just under three kilometers. Now the manufacturer says uh, the range is about a uh, thousand meters or one kilometer, so a bit over that, but it's um we're elevated and it's a nice clear day, so yeah, we should be able to see them with these. So let's get to it. So the optics we're looking at today are the forefront 10x42 uh, binoculars and the Ventura 10 to 25 times 50 HD monocular. Now if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you're already a subscriber. Uh, helps the channel. Right, so the first one we're going to look at is this Ventura 10 to 25. That's the zoom times 50. That's the lens. Um, HD. High definition monocular telescope. But these are great for numerous different reasons. If you're just spotting wildlife or if you're camping outdoors, um, navigation, anything like that. These are great. So let's open up the box and have a look what's inside. Right, so in the box, you've got the monocular. It comes in a case. It comes with a hand strap, which I've just put on. Um, that's tidy, that is a bit of kit. Just to, so you can hold it nice and tight when you're viewing. But yeah, all around is I think is a very nice looking piece of kit. So lens cap on the front, make sure you take that off, or you won't see anything. And you've got an eye cup at the back. So pull that out and then put that next to your eye and you've got it, you're in the perfect spot for viewing. And like I say, this has got a, a zoom on it. So it goes from 10 to 25 zoom um, with a 50 millimeter lens. That's 10 to 25 times the magnification of obviously your, your naked eye. So you can adjust that just by turning this here. You can focus in at the top as well to adjust your eyesight. Now this is lightweight, it weighs 340 grams without the tripod. Now and it will fit in your pouch, your pocket or your backpack. This is the larger of the three we sell in the shop. So we have got two which are slightly smaller than this. Again, perfect size for outdoors backpacking wildlife, whatever you want to see. Now these are very comfortable to hold, like say you've got the, the hand strap, but you've also got the, the non-slip nailed grip on the bottom here. So brilliant in wet weather. Last thing you want to do is drop your scopes. And what we're talking about wet weather, these are designed for the outdoor use. So they're waterproof, dustproof and shockproof. Not that I'm going to drop it on the floor to test it, but yeah. So yeah, built for the outdoors. Now the lens itself is equipped with a BAK7 uh, optical lens, whatever that means, but I'm sure it's pretty good. And an FMC lens. So the FMC stands for fully multi-coated. Now this is a special coating over the lens to stop reflection, which is great um, if you want to see things, but you don't want to be seeing yourself. Now like I say, the 25 times 50 zoom has a range about a thousand meters or one kilometer, but we're going to test that out after. The wide angle lens itself, this allows up to 99.5% of the light to transmit into the, into the lens. So you have a great range of view as well at that distance, at a thousand meters. So the dimensions without the tripod, like I say, it weighs 340 grams, 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters or eight inches by 60 millimeters or six centimeters or just over two inches. So yeah, this is the larger of the three, but it's still compact to fit in, in your backpack, in your pouches or your pockets. Now the monocular comes with a adjustable tripod And it has a quarter inch fitting on the top, so the monocular itself will fit other tripods with the same fitting. So if you've got a different type of tripod, taller one, you can fit the monocular on that. So this is ideal if you want to 
set the monocle up on the ground or on the wall or any, wherever you want and you get that nice still clear um, view. Now not only does it come with a tripod, it comes with a, a smartphone bracket. So you fit this on the back of the monocular and you put your, your smartphone on the back. This will allow your camera on your smartphone to, to view the, the through the monocular. Um, again you can record, take pictures, stream live, plus you can also use the zoom on the camera to zoom in a little bit further. So we're going to try that now and uh, see if we can see Funky who's just over there somewhere. Now as you can see I've got the phone set up on the monocular. It should be pointed at Funky. I'll get him to do a couple of star jumps if he can do them. See if we can get him on camera. Right I've got the camera set up Funky um, pointing at the trig point. Over. Roger, you should make me sound top of it like a right lemon but that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm recording now, over, so, uh, Funky, could you wave your arms up, please, over? Waving now, over! So there we have it. We can see the trig point um, with the phone set up on the monocular. Zoomed in as far as I could. Um, you can see the trig point, but you couldn't quite see Funky doing his jumping about, which is not a bad thing, I suppose. But yeah, very impressive, that. So yeah, that was a good test of that. And, um... Like I say, with the phone on it, you could record, you could stream, you could uh, take pictures. Um, yeah. Are you receiving? Over. So yeah, a good test and a good bit of kit. So the binoculars we're looking at today are the forefront. These are the, the larger of the two sets I sell in the shop. So uh, let's have a look and see what's in the box. So they come with the, the carry case and strap. Plus they also come with a padded neck strap. Now this set, this is a, a 10 by 42 magnification, so it's got, it magnifies by 10 times, and it's got a 42 mil lens on each side. Okay. Plus you've got your focus here to, to suit your eyesight. Just enough magnification to give you a, um, a clear, crisp view without compromising any image quality, and it's great in, in low light. Now these are lightweight as well. They let you less than 540 grams and the design of it fits well in your hands. Again, it's got a textured grip on each side uh, for use in, in wet weather. Now the optics equipped on this one has a, a superior BAK 4 prism lens and just like the monoculars has a multi-layered coating. So you get exceptional depth, clarity, colours and you don't get the reflection. Now the field of view on this one is about 109 metres at 1000 metres. So it's a good wide field of view. The dimensions of these binoculars are 12.7 centimeters by 15.5 by 4.2 centimeters. So let's say these are a powerful binocular but still small enough to carry in your bag, your backpack or even your pouch. Now like I say you've got another smaller option as well which is the forefront 8 by 32. So the forefront binocular lenses these are designed to withstand extreme outdoor elements. So they're waterproof up to IPX7 They've been nitrogen purged lenses, so they're fog proof and they're shock proof and dust proof. So yeah, built for the outdoors. Right, I'm going to give these a go now and see if I can see that funky prepper. Yeah, yeah, great these. Clear as crystal. Um, downside of binoculars when you hold them in your hands, obviously it's, it's getting them to, to be steady. So you get a, a nice still view. This is where the monocular comes in handy with the with the tripod. But I can't complain about the vision. Yeah, these are great. So that's it about the binoculars and the monocular. Let's say all the details and the links will be below in the description. Now if you are out in the hills um, using binoculars or monoculars and you want a bit of advice on navigate without a compass, check this video out. And um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. All the best.